Some of the respondents who lauded the ECOWAS court judgment stressed the need for Nigeria to respect the ruling of the court in order to avoid being sanctioned by the ECOWAS. For the ECOWAS court to intervene, that shows that uh, the world is watching us and uh, they give their judgments. Even the regional court, we are bound by, to bound by the decision of the ECOWAS court. And I believe that the federal government will comply. We don't have a choice. If ECOWAS court took a decision after reviewing the events that led to the case that was brought before them, well, I think they, are, they have a superior authority over Nigeria legal process. Others who expressed his aversion on the judgment said the development could pave the way for others facing corruption charges to seek freedom from being tried. This kind of development will create floodgates for all other people who are facing corruption charges in Nigeria. And such floodgates is likely going to affect smooth judicial system in the country. It's not whether the ECOWAS court is supporting whether somebody stole or not. It's not the issue. It does not lie within the ECOWAS court to determine who stole in Nigeria or who did not steal. The issue is whether the person interdicted is brought before court timelessly and in the appropriate manner and fashion, expected of our constitution and our laws. The Justice Friday Ungo Kepane of the ECOWAS court in a recent ruling described the continuous detention of Sambo Dasuki as a mockery on democracy and an embarrassment to the rule of law. Ibo J. Iwaria reporting.